Good day learners, this is CC Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the amphibians. We hear them outside sometimes and they get louder in rainy seasons. What could they be? These annoying creatures are frogs and they belong to a class of animals called the amphibians. So what are the amphibians? Amphibians are a class of animals like reptiles, mammals, and birds. The word amphibian means two lives, one in the water and one on land. What does that mean? Does that mean they live twice? Well, basically, they live the first part of their lives in the water. That means when they hatch from their eggs, amphibians will have gills so they can breathe in the water. They also have fins to help them swim, just like the fishes. Later, the last part of their lives is on land. That means their bodies change when they become adults, growing legs and lungs enabling them to live on the land. And that's where they grow old and reproduce. Fun fact, although they live their first lives in water, did you know that frogs cannot live in sea water? They only live in fresh water. Now we know they hate swimming on the beach. Uh, what are the types of amphibians? There are three main types of amphibians. These are the frogs, salamanders, and Sicilians. Frogs generally have a short body, web fingers and toes, bulging eyes and no tail. Sometimes we see them with mud or slime. Frogs are known to be good jumpers because of their long powerful legs and they sometimes walk. Some of them are super jumpers. For example, the South African sharp-nosed frog. It is only 3 inches long, but it can jump over 130 inches in one leap, which is 44 times its body length. Two species of frogs are the American bullfrog and the poison dart frog. Poison you say? Well that means some frogs are poisonous. So beware if you see some colorful, colorful frogs because the more colorful they are, the more likely for them to be dangerous. Now, salamanders look a bit like lizards. They have skinny bodies, short legs, and long tails. What's interesting about them is that they can regrow or restore the lost limbs and other body parts in a very short time. A newt is a type of salamander. Sicilians are amphibians that don't have legs or arms. They look a lot like snake or worms. Skin or bone covers their eyes, so they are blind or nearly blind. They have a strong skull and a pointed nose to help them burrow through dirt and mud. Now for a fun fact, did you know that the largest amphibian is the Chinese giant salamander? It can grow to 6 feet long and weigh 140 pounds. And the largest frog is the Goliath frog. How do they behave? Like fish and reptiles, amphibians are also cold-blooded animals. That only means that they have the same temperature as their surroundings. During cold winters, some amphibians become very inactive for months or go to a hibernation state or a deep sleep. They wake when it gets warmer. Some amphibians also become inactive during hot, dry summers. Adult amphibians eat a wide variety of foods. They eat mainly small boneless animals such as insects, worms, and spiders. Some large salamanders and frogs eat small birds and mammals. Most Sicilians eat worms. Frogs and salamanders have other superpowers. They use their very very long tongue to hunt for prey. They fire their sticky tongue like Spider-Man's web shooter to swoop in food like flies and it's lightning fast, five times faster than the human blink. Baby amphibians are mostly herbivores, that means they only eat plants. Now let's go to the life cycle of an amphibian. Most amphibians lay eggs but some species give birth to to live young. In most egg-laying species, the female deposits a large number of eggs in the water. Sometimes they lay so many, for example, frogs lay thousands of eggs at a time. There are two phases in their life cycle. In the first phase, the amphibian lives in the water in an immature form called the larva or you may know it as a tadpole. It has gills to allow it to breathe underwater like a fish. The larva stage may last from several weeks depending on the species. But for some rare cases, it takes up to even 5 years. 
In the second phase, it becomes an adult. In most species, the animal loses its gills and develop lungs so that it can breathe air like us and live on land. Its body structure may change in many other ways too. For example, a tadpole grows legs and loses its tail. The change from larva to adult is called metamorphosis. However, some species do not have separate larva and adult forms. They are born in the same form as adults. Fun fact, did you know that frogs can lay up to 100 to 60,000 eggs in one clutch? This is called frog spawn. Where do amphibians live? Amphibians have adapted to live in a number of different habitats. Most of them like to live in or near water and in damp areas such as streams, forests, swamps, ponds, and lakes, and in hot, humid areas such as the tropics. They live where they can lay eggs the easiest and where there are many insects to eat. Sometimes they control the pollution of the pests that have damaged our crops. Some adult amphibians lived only on land. Other types live only in water. However, mo most amphibians spend part of the time on land and part of the time in water. So they are like one of the most adaptive animals. So learners, now we know more about amphibians. They might be annoying and creepy as they are, but they still contribute to the balance of our ecosystem. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.